It's very important to have nice brows. What's up, people? Wow. It has been, like, so fucking long since I did an empty. Pardon the language. You're going to have to get over it. I'm probably going to shoot out a couple of expletives throughout the end. So, as most people know that have uh, paid attention to my YouTube and Twitter and all that other stuff, I am now sleeping on an air mattress and my brother from another mother's house and his husband's place in Toronto on Church Street. Um, and you know what? It's funny because, like, ten years ago... Look, Toronto was really big for me. I was heavy into drug use, and I was partying a lot, and so I didn't have a lot of focus. And now uh, it's different. Things have changed a lot. Uh, I go to school, so I Rosa Park my ass on the back of the bus all the way to Toronto and all the way to Hamilton, hopefully twice a week, as soon as I can afford it. Um, I might start doing shows. I might not. If I do, I'll keep you guys updated, because I know that you'll all want to come out and watch me make a fool of myself, drunk as a skunk falling all over the place. Uh, um, yeah, things are good. I got 100% of my last test at school, so my teacher's not really worried about any sort of theory classes, which is kind of nice. I got a birthday card from Frankie. You want to see what it says? Oh, uh, can you see it? Can you read it? And that's probably me waiting for my mother to get up and feed me. See? Like, Jesus Christ, woman, where's the cornflakes? But, uh, yeah, life is, uh, life's good. I think for the first time in a really long time, I, I'm walking with my head held high. And I know that at the moment, I should be, you know, maybe down or under or whatever. But I just, I feel like if I keep a positive attitude and everything, that things will just work out the way they're supposed to. I think it's sort of like the... Dalai Lama, Gandhi Buddha thing that like I am exactly in the place where I'm supposed to be right now. Maybe not sleeping on someone's floor, but I am in the city where I'm supposed to be and everything like that. Um, I have a job interview at Sugar Mountain, which is pretty wicked because I love candy way too much. And uh, yeah, so I'm sure that'll go well, hopefully. Um, I handed in a resume like 45 minutes later, I got a job interview. Um, so that's cool. I'm going to see my friend Adrian today that I have not seen in years. Cutest little motherfucker you ever met. Honestly. Really cute guy. Um, and then dinner with Mariana, my fabulous, fabulous friend, whose son screamed at me yesterday like I was the cookie monster incarnate, which was kind of funny because it scared the fuck out of me. I nearly shit myself on her couch. Um... I got my bike into Toronto. Oh my God, I'm so excited because I can like, you know, I can ride around the city on my bike and be all like retro fabulous like that. Um, the mirror that I had to use to straighten my hair. Let me show you how tall it is. Can you see how high that is? I just stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> but it was fun. It's fun. It's good. Everything's good. Life is, uh, life's, getting there. I'm going to hand out some apprenticeships. So listen, so the call out to my friends is this. If anyone knows anyone driving into Toronto early during the day on a Wednesday, Thursday, or even really super early morning on a Saturday, or driving back on a Wednesday, Thursday night after nine o'clock, but hopefully before 11 and on a Saturday at four or between four and seven, if you could, like, hook me up with a ride, that would be really amazing. If anyone knows of any beauty supplies in Toronto, shoot me a message. If any, uh, That takes student discounts, because I have a student card, so I should get a discount. Damn it. If anyone knows of any places that are hiring, keep in mind I have piercings and stretched ears now, so it's limited to a lot of stuff that I can do. Um, and uh, I'm not covering up my tattoos or anything, so... Yeah. If anyone knows of anything that's hiring or any sort of like job placement agencies or anything that's in the city, give me a shout, please. Comment on the wall, inbox me, do whatever you got to do. Um, find me on Twitter. It'll scroll across the screen right around now once I put it on there. Find me on Facebook and uh, let's do some networking, people. Come on. Let's find Little Orphan Tranny here a job. Um, preferably in Toronto downtown so I can travel. And... Yeah, that's about it. I'm done. Peace out, bitches.